Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. This year, with all the craziness going on in the world, CES has gone completely digital. Which actually kind of works out for us because we don't have to go anywhere and that's kind of nice. So when MSI sent this uh, brown unassuming box to our house, I figured that it would be something for CES. And I'm guessing you've seen the title of this video so you know exactly what this is. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and find out what's inside this brown unassuming box. Because you guys have seen the thumbnail by now and you've read the title of the video, you know exactly what this video is about. So as usual with our motherboard content, these videos are not reviews, they're just overviews so you can get an idea of what physically comes in the box. However, this is not a retail version of the motherboard. This is a pre-production sample, so we're not gonna go into whether or not stuff actually does or doesn't come with the board. We do have stuff with it as you're about to find out, but whether or not this is the final retail version or whatever is included that comes with the box is a whole nother story. So without further ado, let's take a look at this brand new board, the MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. Let's do it. Alrighty, let's uh, open up this unassuming brown box and see what's inside. Are you guys ready? Because I am, we're checking out something quite interesting. This is a preview only version of this motherboard, which is why it's in this unassuming brown box. And we're checking out the MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. But let's get the board out of the way and everything out to see what this preview board comes with. This is probably not what it's going to come with in its final form, although actually probably will. So we've got some RGB cables. Now these are adapter cables for addressable RGB. Next up, we've got a two-way, four-pin, 12-volt RGB splitter cable. This is some standard MSI stuff that they include with most of their motherboards. Next up, there's two SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5-inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. I also assume that this will come with the final version of this product as well. It's also got an included antenna for the new Wi-Fi 6E controller that is built onto this motherboard. So you're getting a little bit faster Wi-Fi 6 speeds. And finally, something that I've been petitioning for for many, many years, and I'm glad that they're finally listening to us. Yep, you saw it here first. A USB stick with the drivers and software for the motherboard. I almost can't believe my eyes that we're seeing this and I'm pretty sure that this will be the trend going forward with most motherboards. And my future self will probably need to correct myself, but I see this being the trend in 2021 with new motherboards. Alrighty, it's time to unsheath the Z590 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. This board is how it's going to appear in its final form, but again, this is a preview version typically used on show floors and since there's no CES, well no physical CES this year, this is as best we can do. Alrighty, there's a front panel audio connector for the front panel audio. There's also a four pin 12 volt RGB header. There's an LED switch which allows you to turn the RGB off without using any software. There's a three pin five volt addressable RGB header. There's also the Thunderbolt headers that are built into this board. I'm pretty sure you'll need a controller card to use Thunderbolt on this. There's also an additional PCIe power connector to send some extra juice to those PCIe slots. There's two USB 2.0 headers for things like AIOs and RGB controllers. There's a USB 3.0 header for your front panel connection. There's two PWM fan connectors and the front panel connector for all your lights and all your switches to tell you that your system's on. On the right hand edge, there's two more PWM fan connectors. There's six SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your three and a half inch spinning rust drives. There's also a front panel USB type C header, a 24 pin power connector to send all of that juice to your brand new 10th and 11th gen Intel CPUs. There's a diagnostic readout LED array here. There's a Corsair RGB header, another PWM fan connector as well. And across the top of the board, there's a postcode LED screen for helping you diagnose anything if your system's having any issues. A three pin five volt addressable RGB header, some more PWM fan connectors for your CPU fan or your AIO pump, and two EPS power connectors to send all of that juice to your brand new 10th or 11th gen Intel CPU. If we take a look at the PCIe slots, this is quite an interesting setup going forward with these new Z590 boards. 
The top two slots, the by 16 size slots, are PCIe Gen 4 slots. The bottom by 16 slot is a PCIe Gen 3 slot. The top slot is a full by 16 slot. The middle slot is a by 8 slot. The bottom one is a by 4 slot. And there's two by 1 slots that are only PCIe Gen 3 as well. The first thing you're probably noticing with this board is it doesn't require any active cooling for the chipset, much like AMD's X570 boards, although there are some exceptions to that. But yes, there is no cooling required for this new chipset. While we're talking about Z590 and this new chipset and the 11th gen stuff, it actually talks about the 11th gen CPUs and what's actually compatible with M.2 slots on that top slot. If you look really closer, you'll see Lightning Gen 4, and this is MSI's branding that tells you that it's PCIe Gen 4. Here's something that a lot of the enthusiasts will be interested in, and it's the VRM layout. Now, this board features a 16 plus 1 plus 1 digital VRM setup with 70 amp power stages. You can see that the heat sinks are solid. They are very, very heavy heat sinks. And we can take a little bit of a closer look at the cooling for the chokes along the left hand edge of the board. Yeah, that's the left Nick, yep. And the top heatsink as well is a very solid design. It appears to be using a staggered fin design which helps with airflow across the top of these heatsinks. The VRM heatsink, if you're looking directly at the board on the left hand side, actually goes slightly under the IO cover as well. One thing to note with Z590 and these 11th gen Intel CPUs is they still use LGA 1200. And if we take a look inside the socket, you can also see that there's nothing special going on here. It is a standard LGA 1200 socket. But let's flip the board over so you can have a bit of a look at what's happening back there. Nothing particularly interesting going on here. Uh, although, again, this is a preview board, but I'm fairly certain that the gaming carbon Wi-Fi will not have a backplate. That's kind of the trend with these carbon series motherboards from MSI. They won't have a backplate. But let's uh, pull all those heat sinks off for the M.2 slots and the one that covers the PCH or the chipset so we can take a look at what's happening with this M.2 situation. As mentioned, there's three M.2 slots on this motherboard. The top one is PCIe Gen 4. The other two are PCIe Gen 3. And here's something to note that may interest you. Each of the PCIe slots tells you where it's connected to and what it's going to allow you to connect to it. So the top slot is saying that it's connected directly to the CPU, which gives it that PCIe Gen 4 connectivity because that's how it works with these 11th Gen CPUs. However, if we look a little bit further down to the second slot and the third slot, they have the same designations that tell you that it's connected directly to the chipset and also allows for PCIe and SATA or SATA connectivity. To be honest, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a Z490 board. The only indication that this is a Z590 board at all is this tiny little MPG Z590 gaming carbon Wi-Fi silk screening along the top of the board next to the top PCIe slot. So yeah, it looks like they might be uh, dialing back the branding a little bit for Z590. However, again, I could be wrong. This is a preview only board. I thought I'd quickly give you a look at the chipset cooler now that all the M.2 heatsinks are pulled off the top of it so you can get an idea of how it looks. And speaking of those heatsinks, again, it does talk about the top slot only supporting PCIe Gen 4 with that heatsink. And I thought I'd just give you another quick look at it. There's also four DDR4 RAM slots which support a total of 128 gigs of RAM at 5200 megahertz overclocked. As for rear I.O., you've got a BIOS flashback button, you've got some USB 2.0 ports, you've got a DisplayPort 1.4B port, an HDMI 2.0B port, you've got some USB 3.2 Gen 1 5 gig ports, you've got some USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 20 gigabit ports on the Type-C connector, there's also 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, there's some antenna connectors for the Wi-Fi 6E and the Bluetooth, and also some 7.1 digital surround sound with optical and SPDIF output. But it wouldn't be a Gear Seekers motherboard video if we didn't visit our friends over at Pill Corp. So let's uh, quickly pull off some of that beautiful wrap and let's slide off the covering from the IO shield because you know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to engage cinematic mode. Let's do it. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this first look and overview of the MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. Now, we're in a bit of an interesting situation here with not being able to physically attend CES. So a lot of the products from the companies are actually coming to us so we can present them to you like we would if we were on the show floor. And I don't know if I like that more, but I think it's kind of nice not having to leave the house. I do miss traveling because the idea was for us to actually attend CES this year, but obviously with the pandemic, we can't leave Australia. And even if we could, I still wouldn't risk it until at least 2022. But yeah, it's a nice way of us being able to bring this content to you. As for pricing and availability of Z590 boards, I've got no idea. I don't know when they're coming. I don't know anything about 11th gen, being completely honest. All I know is that this board gets announced and this chipset gets announced when this video goes live. We've got basically no more information on anything related to this new platform whatsoever. I wish I had more. Other channels might have more information than us, but us personally, we just don't know. That's all we've got to share with you guys for now. So yeah, what do you reckon, Claire? Yeah. Good way of doing some like show floor type of content. That's nice, like we don't have to go to, to CES, although I would have liked to have actually physically been there. But that's the thing as well. You have to remember this board is a pre-production sample. It is not retail. So like I mentioned in the intro, I'm not sure what physically comes with this board. I'm guessing what we got is actually going to come with this board. And I'm hoping that they finally listen to me when it comes to including discs. Just give us USB sticks with these new motherboards. I'm really, really hoping this is the trend that we see with all new motherboards going forward this year because it'll make my day, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. And yeah, that's it. What do you reckon? We done, we are done now, right? Yeah. This is the second time we had to film this part of the video because of technical difficulties, but whatever. <laughs> if you guys like the music you heard here, I make all the music, it's available over on our Patreon. If you wanna get early access to videos, not like this one, because this video is releasing whenever this embargo lifts, float plane. <laughs> Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers at CES 2021 in my house. <laughs> you peek. We seek. And again, I like doing it like this. We do have other company stuff that's arrived too. So there's plenty of other brown unassuming boxes that are laying around the house too. I, I kind of been putting them um, around the background of videos with no labels on them. So yeah, go back and have a look and see if you can find anything. We didn't break any embargoes doing that. They're just brown boxes as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and yeah, Hopefully we'll have more CES coverage coming, coming. It is, it, we, we, we're doing more, right? We're doing more. Are we doing more? So. Are we doing more? I hope so. I'm leaving the, the, the thing. Yeah, this video is not sponsored by MSI. They just sent us a board. We're getting a retail one. It's, I mean, like not now, obviously, but yeah, if you're still watching this video, like now, you guys are awesome, I guess. I, I gotta edit this. This has taken me way longer than it should have taken. Why are you still watching at this part of the video? I'm not gonna share anything interesting now. It's just nothing. There is no more. <laughs>